Get in the Corvette C7 SR and drift like a boss. Okay, so particularly I found this challenge kind of annoying just because the way that you have to do the tricks in order to get what they call a great drift or a great e-drift is pretty much like do something you wouldn't normally do during racings. Like, here you go, you see right here I just completely went off the track and that gave me my drift points that I need. Yeah, so now I'm at 2 and I have to get to 15. So anytime you see these like even small, you know, hairpin turns like this or whatever, you definitely just want to try to take advantage of it. So right now I'm at 3. And there you go, I got one right there in the middle of a straightway. So, I mean, honestly, at this point, you're easily, you're better off doing it where it's open like this, where you can actually go off into the grass. Because towards the end of this route, you end up in like tunnels and other stuff you can hit. Where, as, you know, if you hit it in the middle of drifting, you're not going to get the great drift or great e-drift. I don't know what I was doing here, but at least I got the great drift. And one thing I can say definitely as a tip is you want to be using your e-brake. I found it a lot easier to use the e-brake plus like braking and kind of uh, going like left and right with the steering wheel or you know left stick because then you're better off getting the actual drift and keeping it longer. Another one that I would uh, point out is that you want to be going over 70 miles per hour when you're actually doing a drift because anything lower isn't going to give you the drift time you need to get actually get one of the uh, po skill points. That was a pretty cheap one, but I got it anyway, so hey, I'll take it. So here you can see I was on 13, I needed two more. I think I ended up getting two in this one, and there you go. That's how you get it, so hope this helps you, some of you guys.